iPlant is a community of researchers who are building a computer infrastructure to help solve grand challenges in plant biology. Genotype and phenotype are two of the most basic concepts in biology. Genotype is the DNA code that genetically defines a living thing. The interaction between genotype and environment produces a phenotype, the physical, biochemical, and behavioral traits that allow an organism to survive. More often than not, for any of our complex traits, the phenotype that we observe does not come from a single gene acting alone. It comes from a system of genes that are connected to each other. And it's the output of the system that gives us the phenotype, the trait, the behavior that, that we're actually uh, interested in. High throughput DNA sequencing now allows scientists to determine a plant's entire genotype in a matter of weeks. However, this information can only be understood in the context of corresponding phenotype data. And that's where high throughput approach is, what, what allowed us to get to the point where uh, the DNA is now is being able to be um, analyzed very rapidly, is robotization, automation, making things high throughput, getting things to in a, in a, in a hurry. And that's where many of us are working now at the level of phenotyping to say we need to apply many of the same approaches, that is robots, automation, et cetera, databases, uh, computer analysis, so that we can have the phenotyping be as, uh, as thorough, as systematic, and as rapid as the genotyping, and only then are we going to be able to map these two together. High throughput phenotyping measures plant traits, such as size, biomass, yield, or rates of photosynthesis. These data can come from images taken by a microscope in a lab, or by a drone or satellite photographing a field. We can see the images, we can um, see patterns, we can see phenotype, we can see distributions, but it's very, very hard to analyze those just with your uh, naked eyes. And having the tools to translate that into models, into numbers that can be compared, that um, you can apply statistical uh, um, analysis to it, is pretty much bringing the, the field forward and is clearly the future. Correlating the huge amounts of genotype and phenotype data generated by high throughput methods can create the knowledge needed to speed development of hardier, more productive plants. You know, our, our society depends completely upon plants, either directly as food or indirectly as food stock for our animals and that it is critical for us to understand uh, how plants grow, how they diversify, how they interact with other plants and animals, um, and how um, they respond to environmental changes. One of our targets is how do we make a plant that we adapted to any environment in the world. And so what we work with is natural variation of maize. And there's the question of how do you go from taking all that natural variation, natural variation around 50,000 genes, and then designing it so it'll work well in any given environment. iPlant's Genotype to Phenotype Grand Challenge is creating computer tools to help scientists understand the complex network of genotype and environmental interactions. Deciphering this puzzle will allow us to understand and improve the phenotypes of the crops on which we rely.